Hey everyone, how are you? Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late, but not quite lunchtime today. Um, only because I've got family here, so we're just having lunch and all that sort of stuff. So, what I want to talk to you today about is the actual part where it all comes together, right? So when you're wanting to make changes, we talked about picking one thing, we talked about being aware of what we feel and think about ourselves, what we speak to ourselves, the I am statements, right? Things that are going to make us feel a lot more empowered and elevated and higher self, not the low vibe, lack of confidence, putting ourselves down with nasty self-talk, right? We talked about that. We talked about, um, you know, what is stopping you. So being aware of the things and the limit, like limitations we put on ourselves, uh, fear that we might have, fear of failure, the things that stop us from moving forward, right? So we work through a couple of ideas around that as to how we become more aware of that. And yeah, awareness is really, really key. Um, yesterday, I'm trying to think what we did yesterday, but today, anyway, I'm going to skip straight to day five because I can't remember what we did yesterday. I'll have to have a look. Day four, day four. We talk, So overall, what we're trying to do is create foundations, right? Create foundations for health, foundations for um, making a change, right? Because often people think that changes are hard and they also think that they have to be big, right? So a lot of the time the changes that we make are very small and they make such a big difference, right? By just beginning to do the things, right, that you need to do. So I don't know why I haven't really down what day four is that's funny isn't it it's strange so what i wanted to do is show you like there's a couple of ways that i teach clients right to, to make changes i talked a lot about the balance sheet right so i've printed this out the daily balance sheet now this is not a list of to do's this is you creating there's a blank one on the other side you creating a thing that's going to change for you in that space. So a balance, I call balance reducing stress, right? Using self-care, movement, mindset, nurturing your healthy weight and habits, right? They're the, they're the key areas that I would say is about your balance in your life, right? You need to have a balance to be healthy. We can't be stressed out of our brain and healthy. We can't be working long hours and not taking care of ourselves with no self-care or not feeding our body and not moving our body um, and not having that positive outlook. All those things are what I call um, a healthy daily balance sheet, right? So it's not just about diet. It's not just about doing squats or push-ups or going for a run or whatever you think that it's about, right? Habits are to do with your everyday life. So I created this daily balance sheet to give you some ideas, not only the bigger picture of what, you, what balance requires, what does it mean to have balance, what will it look like for you, right? And then we created... This is what I've done with a client. We created some tasks, some things that will make her feel more balanced along these aspects, along the self-care and the overwhelm and the nutrition and the movement. and the. So it sounds like a lot, but actually it's not. It's not a lot. Like the things that we're doing here, we're working out how to reduce, reduce our, straight, our stress, right? How to reduce stress and, and overwhelm. And that could be things like just you know, having time out and mindfulness and more gratitude and joy, right? Self-care, obviously we need to be able to do things that give us back energy, right? To recharge our battery, to tune in and listen to our body, right? Movement, 10, 5, 15, 20 minutes a day, whatever you've got is enough. And also be aware of the incidental exercise because that's very important. Mindset, right? So we're talking about your clarity and your focus and you know, our energy, like they say, energy goes where um, energy flows, right? Where focus flows. So where are you spending your energy? Where are you spending your time? And, you know, like we can say that we don't have time and we don't have money and we don't have this, we're too busy and all the rest of it. But I can tell you, we will spend it doing other things, right? It's not the time, it's the priority. It's the value in it. If you don't value health, you're going to spend it scrolling on your phone, 
for instance, right? Or you're going to spend it on, you don't value eating healthy food. You're still going to eat something, right? You're still going to go and get food. So it takes the same amount of time to go and buy and plan your healthy food than it does to plan and drive through Maccas, right? And I'm not judging because we do Maccas. I've got a family. We all do Maccas still. We still do Hungry. My boys work at Hungry Jack's. <laughs> and, and usually the highlight of their week is taking a burger home after they've worked. I'm not talking about judgment or comparison. I'm talking about the balance of no judgment, no comparison, right? You don't have to have any of that. No guilt, no shame, right? We don't work along that. Nurturing your healthy weight. So that's the actual habit part as well. So healthy snacks, reducing sugar, um, high required, yeah? Um, and then your habits, like your morning routines, your night routines, your sleep routines, your, um, you know, all the things that's bothering you. So what we try and do is pick a couple of tasks that you can do that will give you more balance. And you might only work in or start with reducing stress, like one area. Like this is a full transformation practically, right? You can do a transformation with this. But this is, you know, you might pick one area of your life that's really draining your energy right now and kicking your butt. So let's pick the stress, right? So that's what we'll do. We'll come up with some tasks or, or things that will reduce that. So if you were coaching with me, I would help you with that. If you want to do that by yourself, I, I can send you this, um, this list, this blank list. So that's one way that I help, right? The other way which I've come up with, there's, there's a couple here, but I think I'm going to run out of battery before that because not not a great, um, what do you call it, entrepreneur. I don't plug my phone in enough. The change formula, right? So I've cleverly, you know, wrote change. And this is how we change, right? This, And again, you might pick one area that, that you're just not happy with. And it could be the fact that you forget to ask yourself, you know, what do you need? What, what do you need? So connecting, right? What do you need for the day? What's going to make you feel better today? What do you need most? Happy, right? Doing joyful activities. Is it hugging your, your grandchildren or hugging your pets is it dancing is it going and putting music on is it you know going outside and sitting in the sun what is it so active for a active you know five ten minutes might be a walk might be a dance song right one minute of a dance song um three minutes is typical for a song nourishing so nourish yourself how are you going to do that a glass of water you're going to have a nice breakfast you're going to add, have lunch today you're not going to skip meals um G for grateful, right? I think there's no better vibration than being grateful because you can't be negative at the same time as grateful, right? They don't exist together. So that's a really great way to change the whole vibe of how you're feeling, yeah? Because we can always find something to be grateful for, even in amongst a total disaster, <laughs> like shit show, right, of your day. Energy. So what is that thing that's going to give you back your energy right and reducing you know in this case i've written reduce sugar and calm the nervous system so that might be breath work it might be that you just um nourish your body with with good food today it might, might be that you've talked to a girlfriend or, or, or gone and had lunch and you know refresh yourself and rebuilt your soul right <laughs> so it could be something like that so this is how you change your life right this is how you change your day and your health this is how you change your life, right? These are the things that I help clients with. And they are so simple that anything you did on any of those lists will make a change. That's how friggin' easy it is. Anything, right? You pick something that's that's dogging you, that's making you feel crap, and then let's pick something. So if you're not sure, send me a message and we'll have a chat about what it is that you're struggling with and what can that thing be. So I'm really good at giving you your next step, right, if you're not sure. And here's another thing that I created that, and these are the types of tools. If you want this toolkit, if you like, you can you can have a chat to me and I'll send it to you. If you want to work with me in a session, we can go through it, right? So looking at, if you don't know where you're at, right, a lot of the time we forget where it's just one big daunting mess. We no longer know what it is. We can't name it. We just feel shit, right? So I've come up with like a little mojo checklist, like a self-care checklist, if you like. Out of 10, it, I've calculated a few, um, I've just grabbed an old copy that's got scribble on it, um, 
I've decided that these are the key areas that will give you back your mojo, that will give you back your, your balance in your life, right? So out of 10, we're going to rate them. So hydration, enough energy, feeling happy, joyful activities, unhelpful habits, me time, healthy eating, feeling connected, daily movement. Like it sounds like a lot, but this is life, right? Feeling worthy, feeling calm. Um, are you emotionally like just reactive and not, not responding in a positive sense? Are you purposeful and organized? Are you learning anything? And do you feel confident enough that you can achieve what you want, right? Now notice that nothing had, none of this stuff has anything to do with your shape, your size, your weight, right? Because the reason why is weight loss or weight gain, I should say, is a symptom of all the crap that's going on in your world, right? It is a symptom of things being unbalanced. It is a symptom of you not feeling happy. So I like to start with the happiness, right? And the, and the things that's going on in the background that's causing you to feel crap, that's causing you to comfort eat or binge eat, that's causing you to not want to be motivated or inspired in your life, that's causing you to give up um, or feel bad about yourself or have low self-worth, low confidence. So there's some things going on that I want to talk to you about that is bothering you, right? And if we could rate where we're at on this sort of scale, you could pretty much pinpoint where you're doing great and where you need more TLC, right? There's a couple of things there. It's very, very easy and simple. It sounds like a lot, but honestly, if you rated them out of 10, the most important areas in your world, and that might be like, like I said, the connection to other, it might be relationships, it might be friendships, it might be the being lonely, being bored. I haven't wrote them on here, but feeling connected is number one for that, right? Feeling connected to yourself, feeling connected to your your environment. Our environment has a lot to do with how we feel as well, right? So that's really important to take note of. What is not making you feel good? You know, do you put your clothes on and you hate your clothes? You hate how you look in your clothes? Are you you know, really craving some connection or something new to do, you're bored or you're missing something. So finding your spark. So I call this my mojo checklist, but, you know, finding your spark, your mojo, your TLC, whatever it takes is what we're going to talk about there. So there are, and then of course there's, there's steps and tools around the joy, around the mindfulness, around the giving you back your energy, working out what the energy givers are and what the energy takers are because there's a lot of things that take our energy and take us away, distract us away from what we really, really need and really want, right, to be a healthier, happier woman, yeah? So, and, and despite what, you know, you might think, it's very hard in this transition stage. If you're around my age, I'm 56, you might be anywhere from 48 to 50, to 55, 56, 60 or on and beyond, there are some flat times, right? So it's it's navigating these, right? And, and tuning in to say, well, what do I need? What do I want? What, what is going on here? Why do I keep having these negative thoughts? Why do I keep, you know, sabotaging or, or um, putting myself down and, and binge eating all the rest of it? A lot of the time, our thoughts are the change we need right if we start even with that but this is more of the practical nature of, of coaching habit change so if you want some help with habit changing um honestly these are like the easiest little cheat sheets you can do and you can tweak them to suit what you want to change right so um yeah based on where you're at and what's going on for you so you can make up your own tasks for the day. You can make up your own activities that you want to do that fit in, you know, with the change formula, for instance, right? It's so simple. So that's pretty much it for the training that I wanted to um, talk to you about, yeah? Because it, I think we just overthink things and we make life harder for ourselves when we don't have to. So if we can just break it down into little tiny steps 
and little tiny things that we do for ourselves, um, it will make a world of difference every day. And if you can change your day, it will change your life, right? Every day, every moment, we get a choice of what we think, what we act, how we act, sorry, what we say and speak to others, to ourselves, how we respond to the situation. Um, and remember, stress is a it's a thing. It's not, it's an event. Stress is an event. It's, it's not, it can be a, a nervous response, right? I guess the response is what we have control over in some cases, right? Of course, there is extreme, you know, anxiety, depression. Sometimes we don't have a grip on what is happening. It's a natural response that our body has learned. But then if it's learned that, it could, it could unlearn that. That's what I'm saying. So more goodness, more positives will bring more negative, uh, more negatives, less negatives. So that's what I wanted to um, share with you today about mainly the change formula and the balance sheet, right? So creating those two um, forms, if you like, um, cheat sheets, sticking them on your wall, sticking them anywhere. You put your own take on that. But you get the gist, right? So I've gone through this as well, and I've gone through the daily balance. So if you've just joined in, you can go and have a look. If you would love this little worksheet with the um, the balance sheet, the change formula, the mojo checklist, I would love to know where you're at. On the other side of that is 13 things you could do for your self-care. So if you've forgotten what self-care is, I actually think, Self-care is everything. <laughs> so everything we do for ourselves is self-care. We can call it that. So you can, um, you know, if you need a little bit of some a reminder of some ideas for your self-care, let me know. The other thing I'm going to do is any questions. I would love you to send me some questions and I will answer them in a live, right? So you actually get to hear what I've got to say on that subject, on that topic. Um, you... The other thing I'll put in here for this little work group, uh, workbook for this group is the mindset tools, right? So that's actually steps and tools. Another little checklist that helps you with making a change on the mindset, yeah? So again, the most important things that I could think of that make a change instantly are these things that I've written out. So I put a, you know, a lot of thought into simplifying everything right to make it so so easy yeah um and that's it so if you'd like to pop me some questions i will answer them later on a live if you want to talk to me and send me a message privately about something that you have been experiencing that you are struggling with and have not been able to budge or move i would love to help you with that too you can let me know what that would be and i will privately reply if you don't want to um it to be discussed I would not discuss it on a live anyway like this, but I could answer a question, right? It doesn't have, It's anom anonymous questions. I do not talk about other people on lives, right? <laughs> so, um, and the other way that I can help you too is I have some spots for one-on-ones. So they're 60-minute calls, $60 a session. Normally they're 80. So for this live this week, this challenge, uh, I've reduced that. And... Yeah, and the group coaching as well is also reduced. So for the first month, that will be fifty dollars instead of fifty. Sorry, fifty percent off. Um, and normally that's eighty-eight a month to have the group coaching, which is the the group calls, it's um live training, it's the modules of the up uplift health coaching, um, of the transformation, the, the six week transformation. So you get the modules. It is also, um, it includes uh, messaging coaching and it includes um, a group monthly Zoom, as well as the workouts and the light and, you know, the Facebook community and the things that you want in the, you know, that sort of form that foundation of how you're going to look after yourself um, just to keep you, you know, on track. But I think the community the conversations that you have with me directly on Messenger um, or Voxer, the the trainings, like the foundation training that you go through, that you've got access to, you go through that in your own time, 
the live um, the live trainings that I do weekly on the on the group calls the zoom where you've got a, a monthly Q&A where you actually get to have hot seat coaching one-on-one -on -one in a group session though but we can talk to each other and the other thing what did, else did I say was going to be part of that there's quite a lot <laughs> there's quite a lot it's not like a portal it'll just be a community um, Facebook group so on demand you can go into anytime you like all right so if you want to talk to me about any of those things, let me know. If you've got some questions you want me to answer for you that you're struggling with, or if I went too fast and you want me to go back over something that we talked about today, the change formula or the balance sheet, uh, balance, I won't say cheat sheet, balance sheet, right? Um, and this stuff, by the way, has been formed by the last 35 years of understanding what women need to be healthier to have a healthy practice that they follow every day um, because I've seen what works what doesn't work uh, we already know what doesn't work right we know diets don't work we know that um, paying out on yourself doesn't work we know that going without food and restricting yourself doesn't work um, we know that smashing your body doesn't work right and, and it's harder as we get older too because I think a we question more we get smarter <laughs> and we also uh, work out we've worked out what doesn't work right along the way so it's now refining it to something really basic and simple that you can practice every day that suits you that fits you that's my my really my superpower is making something work for the person in their situation in their uh, where they're at right now their confidence level their personality their um, time schedule their age their experiences that they've had in the past the way they feel about themselves so growing that confidence so that they can go forth and do it on their own is is the goal right that's the goal to have my support great but ideally you've got control you've got this right and so I'm, I want to get you to that level where you're comfortable and you know what to do and you can do it on your worst day right and that you've stopped judging yourself you've stopped comparing yourself you've stopped dieting you've stopped you know overwhelming yourself with all the things you've stopped um all the expectations of what you think you should be doing um you know the the people pleasing the the invisibility of you know as we're getting getting older the hiding the um, self-image the self-loathing we've stopped all of that so if you've working with me that's where we're going we're stopping that rubbish and you will have more energy because you won't be in your head all the time hating on yourself. You won't be in your head judging everything, wondering if you're allowed to eat this or not allowed to eat that. You'll be enjoying food finally without any judgment or guilt or shame. And you'll be choosing things based on how you feel, right? How you feel about everything, how you want to live, how you want to be showing up, how you want to eat, how you want to move. Not based on anybody else right not following other people's stuff um, that tells you how you should be living so it'll be more aligned it'll be more calm it'll be more peaceful it'll, because it'll be more balanced based on what you need now not the past not when you were 20 or 30 now what do I need now what am I struggling with now and what can I get rid of <laughs> like what can I ditch because I don't want all this stuff right and I've said that if you if you're not sure I've gone through the last five days right so go back and check each day in this group um, yeah check what I have spoke about because at the end of the day often we don't know what we want and where we're going you know where we're struggling sometimes we don't know that but we know what we don't want we know we know what we're fed up with we know what we hate feeling like right so that's if you at least know that much and you know what you don't want and you are sick of feeling a certain way you're sick of the fatigue you're sick of the confusion you're sick of the draining energy um, or the chaos that you feel the battle the inner battle in your mind and your body all the time um, I want you to love your body I want you to love your body that you're in the person that you are how you feel about yourself how you show up 
I don't see the point of anything else. It's come down to that, right? When all this work that I've done for 35 years, helping women feel healthier, I can't see the point if you're not feeling good and I don't see the point if you, if it's doing your head in and you don't love yourself enough to take care of you, right? And why would you want to go forth aging like that? We want to age amazing. We want to be proud and loud. We want to be vivacious, vibrant. Um, we want to take care of ourselves because we just, we deserve that, right? We deserve to take care of ourselves. We deserve this. We've got this far. We didn't get this far by getting this far. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and there's lots to do. There's still lots to do in the world. There's still lots of good to bring, right? So we've got to, we're still contributing. We still have lots to offer and there's lots to do. So I don't know how you feel about all that, but that's my take on change. That's my take on the, on the daily balance that you're going to need to make it happen, right? And if you want more help, I'm here. Because um, sometimes that's what it takes. Is you may need a little bit of um, to borrow someone else's confidence in you until you get your own. Yeah. So I hope that's helpful. Um, you'll see some more posts about the Q and A. You'll see some more posts about um, what's next for you if you want to get more help. And there'll be more challenges coming up as well. So follow along in the group. Um, let people know if you've got friends that need some help right now. Um, in some in having inspiration in having health um, and yeah let them know about the free group which is the uplift it's fab fit uplifted women I know it's a mouthful um, which you're in obviously or you're watching this and if you'd like the workbook right so if you'd like the workbook let me know so I can email that to you right I can get your email and send it to you or you can go on my email list because they'll be getting that as well um, I'm always creating something, right, that I think is helpful because I love the content creation as well. I love the meal plans that I create. I love the workouts I create. I love all that, right? So I do that for the, for the sake of it because I love doing it. No other reason. So if you're interested in that and you want to be on my email list and you want to receive the, the newsletters with all, with all the tips and inspiration to live your best life, your best, best healthiest, happiest version of you, um, let me know and I'll pop you on that too. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go get some water and you get some water. And um, I hope that was helpful, yeah? And yeah, so I might post the balance sheet as well and you can download both those things. Okay, or if you want me to email them to you, let me know. Okay. <laughs>